Hello, my name is Joshua Beidel, and I'll be presenting my thesis project titled Video Games and Virtual Reality as a Relaxation Therapy, an EEG Study. Virtual reality games have enhanced player experiences thanks to an increasing number of immersive applications that can be used as an extension of the physical area. Among those applications, VR shows promise for relaxing and therapeutic applications. However, most of these applications currently available position users in a passive or non-interactive environment, simply having them respond to guided stimulation, like guided audio meditation apps on mobile devices. This thesis explores if relaxation, mindfulness, and virtual reality can be achieved through active player engagement, where users directly control their character and provide input. To do this, I crafted a test game using several relaxing design principles titled Fly by Night, where the user plays as a bird in flight through an ethereal environment pictured here. The graphics, lighting, and sound were crafted to be as soothing as possible to facilitate a pleasant environment for gameplay to take place. Several glowing hoops spawned procedurally throughout the map and gave players speed boosts and incremented the scoreboard once they flew through them. Players were not given an objective, but 100% of participants made these rings their overall goal. To test the strength of a player's relaxation, I used a brain-computer interface device called the Emotive Insight Headband a small and non-invasive 5-electrode EEG machine to record participants' topographic brainwave functions while playing. I focused on the theta and alpha waves correlated with relaxation and engagement. Using a within-subjects design, a control version was implemented on PC and a test version implemented in VR using an Oculus Quest headset to examine potential differences in wave frequencies and player engagement between diff the different platforms. A significant difference was found for both the theta and alpha brainwave frequencies. The VR condition was identified as eliciting higher levels of theta and alpha waves, meaning that it seemed players were achieving stronger relaxation responses through active engagement with the VR condition when compared to the PC version. This result contributes evidence supporting video games as therapeutic resources to relax through active player engagement and to encourage the development of more games focused on mindfulness principles, as well as having further implications for flow state theory and player immersion research in the future. Thank you very much for your time.